In this presentation we're going to look at how to construct logic networks using logic gates uh, as part of the discrete maths series of presentations. So first off let's look at our question here. It's a bit blurry there. Draw a, ne a ne logic network that accepts independent inputs P and Q and gives as output not P and P or Q. So first off let's actually consider the symbols here that we are looking at here. So first off we have not, we have and, and we have R. Now let's consider what gates we are going to use. There's actually a couple of gates. There's the um, and gate, the or gate, and the not gate. Let's have an idea, let's get an idea of what they look like. Well, first off, the NOT gate looks like this. It has a single input, and it looks like this. It's sort of triangle, little circle at the end. So that is a NOT gate. The AND gate, there's a couple of variations of it, but I'll just go with the most simple one, is just a semicircle or D shape. And that is the AND gate. There's a couple of variations of that uh, form there, but they're all pretty consistent. The OR gate is, oh, and the AND gate has two inputs rather than just one. The OR gate looks very similar to the AND gate, but it sort of has a crescent shape to it. So that's the OR gate. And again, it has two inputs. The AND gate and the OR gate have two inputs. Now, let's see how we will put this together for drawing this particular logic network up that we're asked to draw. So. Let's start off here now. We have, well first off we look at P, this input P. And it is also going to go into another gate here. So I'm going to have, it's going to split into two different channels. But so first off we have P up here. And it's going to go into a NOT gate, that branch. And that will give us NOT P up here the NOT gate. Now we've also sort of split it down here and what we have here is a, a different channel of P and it's going to meet up with Q and what we have here is an OR gate. So these are going to meet in an OR gate. There we go. And to be consistent with the labeling or just remember to put in the labels as we go along, as required. So this is an OR gate. Now, the these two, this branch here and this branch here are both going to meet up in a to, to an AND gate. So we're going to draw the AND gate here now. And so we have not P here and or Q down here and they are going to meet uh, meet at the AND gate and so we have minus P or not P and P or Q okay so uh, remember to label everything and probably use different color pens I used only blue here and uh, label your diagram to show the symbolic output a after each gate. So that we have there, that there, that there, and that there, and that's it. End of presentation.